Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. Today is Makeup Movie Monday, and yes, I did get that idea from Bailey Sarian with her um, Makeup Murder Mystery Monday or something like that. But I love Bailey. If you haven't seen her channel before, go ahead and check her out. I highly recommend her. She's awesome and um, very sweet. But today we're going to talk about a movie starring Rachel Ward. It's from about 1985. I, I believe it was an HBO film. It was made in Australia and it's called Fortress. Let me gather up some things and we'll get started. So Fortress was about um, the school teacher played by Rachel Ward. Her name is Sally. Uh, she lives in with this family in a rural, rural, I can't say it, R-U-R-A-L, um, Australia, and they have a schoolhouse there. It's like a primitive schoolhouse where it's all different uh, um, grades all together. It's only nine students. And um, so it opens with her waking up in the morning and they're going, you know, getting ready for school and walking to school. And two of the kids that she lives with, those are a couple of her students. And so they, I, I believe it's kindergarten through senior high. It's that small of an area. And so they are at school, you know, they, they walk to school and they get there and the school day started and the kids start saying they notice something outside, you know? And she figures they're just being kids or whatever. And then she goes up to the window and looks and is like, there's nothing out there and turns back around and is talking to her students and they all go, <gasps> and then she turns back around and there's one of the guys with the mask on, um, holding a gun, motion in the gun, telling her to, you know, come on. And so she goes out. Um, no, she tells one of the older kids to lock the door and then one of the kids tells her, but one of the kids is outside in the bathroom because the bathroom was out, outside. Um, so she goes out to see if she could get him and they already got the little kid. She, the, these men, uh, there's three of them. One's wearing a Santa mask, one's wearing like a mouse mask. And another one is wearing like a duck mask. And they tell her, get the kids we're taking y'all with us and they gather all the kids and put them and the teacher and put them in a van and they drive them out in the middle of nowhere and put them in this cave and put a big boulder over the opening of the cave and the teacher and two of the bigger students try to move the boulder but they can't so and and they're taking them for ransom is what they're doing so she um her and one of the older students explores in the cave and finds a little stream of water and so she goes through it and swims through to see if she can find a way to get out and they do and so they all swim through the oh yeah there's gonna be spoilers in this sorry um so she swims through and sees her as a way out so she comes back and they walk back and she gathers up all the kids and they go to the stream and they're gonna swim across. Um, in one part, she's swimming one of the little kids across, but that kid is panicking and stuff and uh, the teacher almost drowns because of it. But one of the older boys, um, Sid, saves them and gets them across. That actor, is, the place Sid is Sean Garlic, and I believe he went on and became a soccer player. I think he became a police officer. Then he became a soccer player. I'm not sure about the police officer thing, but I am pretty sure about the soccer player thing. But anyway, so they all get out of the, the cave and the teacher wants to walk up on the further on the, like they're on like a mountain type thing. And she wants to go up it further to see if she can see any houses or anything and tells the kids to try and get some sleep they're all sitting on these big huge sharp rocks so I'm like well I'm sure that's real comfortable for them but anyway um, she uh, 
climbs up higher and sees a house, like a farm and a farmhouse. So she's all happy about it. And um, so she goes back and she gets the kids and they start heading to the farmhouse. She said it was a couple miles. And finally they get to the farmhouse and this sweet little old lady opens the door and she looks scared and you know as soon as you see her, oh, I know what's gonna happen next. And she says, these men took us and uh, we got away. Can we use your telephone? And then the door opens further and it's one of the guys with a gun, one of the guys that took them. And um, so all the kids scatter and try to run off. Sid gets in a truck to try and start the truck. And um, but he grabs Sally and they get all the kids inside this old couple's house and she kind of pleads with the men. She's like, please, the children are, are hungry and tired. And he said, well, we brought you supper to your cave and you took off, so you can do without. And in the meantime, the little old lady set a table for these three men to eat. And uh, it's clear at this point that the Santa, the guy with the Santa mask on, who they call Father Christmas, is the bat, is the like the meanest one. And he is, he's mean to his little, little cohorts too. So then after they eat their dinner and stuff, um, they tell everybody, or they, he tells the Santa, I guess, tells the other guys, we're putting them out in the barn. And the little old lady says, we can't, my husband's sick. It's gonna be freezing tonight. So he shoves her and then the, her husband tries to walk up on the guy and he shoots the old man to death. And the kids are freaking out. They're all upset and um, So they grab all the kids and force them outside. But when they, when she, sh he shot the old man, he um, blew up the fish tank and the fish were flopping around on the floor. So this uh, teenage girl, Norelle, who's with the group of kids, she's trying to save the fish, but they just, the teacher just grabs her and says, come on, we gotta go. And so they put them all in the barn in the cold barn. So they start a fire in the barn and they're all sitting around it and they're talking quietly. Um, and Sid mentions how you catch a rabbit is head on, not from the side. Um, basically thinking about how the mask on them, they can only see forward, they can't see from the side. So they, um, one of them is guarding them. I think it's the mouse guy, the guy with the like rat mask on and he peeks in on them and they invite him in to sit by the fire. He's like, oh, you must be so cold, come sit by the fire. So he comes and sits by the fire with them and they're like trying to be real friendly with him. And uh, Sid and the other big kids say they're tired. And so she tells, tells him to go find some place to lay away from the light of the fire. And when they do, they actually go find a big hunk of wood or as as Sean and Shada did I would say a bit of wood and um they came up behind him and smacked him in the back of the head and knocked him out and they all escaped and they all ran off and and got away and eventually they end up in this in another cave which becomes their fortress they fortify it and they decide they're gonna fight back these men aren't taking them without a fight so they savagely, pretty much savagely kill the guys. Like the last guy I think is Santa. Um, I actually, I think if I'm remembering it correctly, Santa kills the guy in the duck mask ahead of time. He kills him with a pitchfork, I believe. You don't see it, but you see his body. And so it's just him and the, mouth sky left and um when they're um 
in the cave, when they go to the new cave, their fortress and they're fortifying it and they're, they're, you know, sharpening up, spe sharpening up spears and stuff. They, the, the Santa guy and the other guy find them. And the one guy, I guess he's the guy that was in the mouse mask. He falls onto these spikes that they made and impales himself and he's dead. And I think that he's having a fight with Sally and she pushes him off the edge. And then again, Sally is Rachel Ward, the teacher. And then the Santa guy decides to get all mad and he's clearly got anger issues and oh look what I did. He's got anger issues anyway. But, um, I can't concentrate. So he runs into the cave all with the gun and he starts firing the gun. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, he trips over a trip wire they've created, like a booby trap. And they're, they're, they run out and they start stabbing him with spears and beating him with big rocks and stuff. Anyway, they completely mutilate him. They destroy him. And then the next thing is the teacher and the kids are all sitting outside at the schoolhouse and she's reading them a story and the, this car pulls up and it's detectives and they want to talk more about what happened. And, and she's like, the children have been through a lot. We're not going to talk about this, you know? And, and they show the jars and there's like a heart in one of the jars, like that little science area. And when the jars has a heart in it. And I guess you're kind of led to believe it's the heart of the Santa guy, the Father Christmas guy. But anyway, it's a really good movie, I think. Um, no one I know has ever heard of it. Um, I did recently watch it on YouTube. I couldn't find it anywhere else, but it is on YouTube. Um, I entered Rachel Ward in the search on um, my Roku and it didn't even bring up Fortress. It brought up a whole bunch of other stuff that she's been in. But not a Fortress. I do recommend the movie if you can see it. If you, Even if you can find it on YouTube, it's not the highest quality, at least the one I found on YouTube. But, um, I mean, it's still, you can still get the gist of the story. But I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. I saw it when I was 15. Um, my dad thought I would like it, so I watched it with him. We, he, me and my dad always watch movies together. Um, and I really liked it. I told my mom about it, and then she wanted to see it. Um, but we could never find it again, you know? It was really weird because it was just on HBO, and me and my dad watched it maybe five or six times. And then when I told my mom about it and she wanted to see it, we couldn't find it. And it wasn't that much later after that, so. So I don't know. Eric's in the living room playing guitar. He's playing one of my favorite songs, Long Black Veil. That's it. The name of the movie is Fortress. Rachel Ward is in it. Um, you could search it on YouTube. If you put Rachel Ward Fortress or Fortress Movie or Fortress 1985, it should come right up. Um, it's about maybe a little more than 90 minutes long. Um, and it's really good. I like it quite a bit and I do highly recommend it if you like dramas and you like a little bit of action without it being completely over the top. Um, you know, uh, it may be a little triggering. Children are threatened in it. Um, an old couple is killed in it. Um, and the violence is graphic for 1985. For today's standards, I don't think it's graphic, but for 1985, it was pretty graphic. But um, that's it. I'm going to go. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I, I don't know what movie I'm going to talk about next week, but I'm going to try and come up with a movie where I can do a makeup look with it. I have a good idea for Jaws. But we'll just see, because usually uh, it, it dawns on me, like, sort of, like, last minute what movie I'm going to talk about, you know. So, but we'll see. So, come back next Monday for a new movie, and um, hopefully I'll actually 
have a make, I guess I could have done a, a, a Santa or mouse look, but anyway, you just get plain all dawn today. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will talk to all of you later. Bye. Thank you.